This rocket has over 11,000 meters per second of Delta V, and it is going to the hardest planet in this solar system. Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program Beyond Home. My name's Lynx, and this is a really beefy rocket now. Yeah, this is 9,000 there, but Kerbal Engineer says 11,400 meters per second, and that's what we're going to be going with. So, for those of you who don't know, Rock is a planet. It has no atmosphere. It has no moon. There is no chance of getting a gravity assist there or back, so it's pure brute force force today. Now there's no crew on this one, we're doing a probe landing, we're doing a, a nice unmanned mission to rock. The first unmanned mission to actually land on a planet except when I landed on the gas giant. <laughs> but yes, you will see just quite how much sheer power this has so far, it doesn't look like it's uh, anything too different to what I've done before, but inside this fairing there's a lot of intricate stages. I even have asparagus staging on one of the stages in here, so uh, <laughs> it's gonna be great. But so far our gravity turn's looking pretty good. Let's see where we are from orbit. That's, that's, that's looking grand. That's okay. Let's reveal the fairy. And there we go. It's not the most amazing looking craft. In fact, it's got so much drag, it's flipping me over. I probably shouldn't have revealed it quite so far down. So we've got some stages here. Now, this one it could be a Spargus stage, but it's not. It's this stage here. This has a lot of fuel. A massive potential. All right. There's a lifter stage gone. Transfer stage time. So this stage that I'm burning out now should take me to rock. This stage should land and this stage should hopefully take off and take me home. But again, uh, with so many stages, I I don't know. I honestly have no idea whether it's gonna work or not. So it's, it's kind of, that's kind of why I'm sending a probe. Anyway, it's not an amazing orbit, but we have an orbit regardless. So without further ado, it's time to plot our maneuver to rock. There we go, we've got an encounter. It's time to do the maneuver. Oh, I just overshot it a little bit. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, hopefully that still works out. I think I'm doing a stage separation during this as well. Yeah, right towards the end, I'm switching to stage six. All right, now for the stage switch. All right, now we've got, we've got to do this one carefully. This is the stage that will land us on rock, or at least get us very close. And there we go. You can see how massive its gravity is just by looking at that. Look how much that's going to sway us. All right, so I don't know how much this is actually going to cost to circularize from this point, but I, I feel like it's going to be a lot. Oh, no, it's almost a thousand. No. The problem is, if I then add one down here, that's going to cost so much. What's this one going to cost if I if I do another one here? 3,000. Uh, nice. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> I guess I guess I've got some science experiments, I, I suppose. Right, so theoretically, if I was to completely stop, 3,000 meters per second is what that would cost me. I think it's time I do some science because I'm clearly not going to be getting back from this mission. Okay, temperature 18, 18, very nice. Pressure 27, very nice. Gravity 45, extremely nice. And seismic, I don't think I can do. No, okay. Well, in that case, I'll just circularize then, won't. <laughs> Bloody great. Warp to next maneuver. All right, it's time for the big one. <laughs> the biggest burn. Well, here we are at rock. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we've just passed over the main crater. So you can see these like striations over there. We're going to be going past some mountains soon. To circularize, I'm, I'm going to be okay. But look how fast I'm actually traveling. Now, I could just kill my velocity entirely here, which is a good shout, actually. I suppose I sure could. So I'm going to quick save. And I'll land in that flat area down there because you know what? It's, it's a good a place as any. 1,900 meters per second. This is going to take me into my next stage. Uh, the, the other problem is uh, I, I can't decouple these because my landing legs are on these. If I decouple them, I'm going to lose my stability. All right, this is, is going to be challenging because I've not done, I've not landed on rock before in a in a career mode situation. So I'm, I'm not going to be able to decouple this, which means I'm going to be losing efficiency, unfortunately. What's my thrust to weight ratio now? 1.92 and rising. All right, so we're still good. I'm just going to come to a stop. How's our fuel doing? Because I can't see it. Oh, we are surely running out. We surely are running out. Uh-oh. All right, that's gone. That's gone. It's time for this stage. I was not expecting to land on this stage. Oh, is it even going to be able to do it? <laughs> wow, that was close. Okay, 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 okay. All right. No. Oh. <laughs> so close. Did you see how close that was? It just suddenly, suddenly came shooting up to the craft. 
All right, so we've established that regardless of what happens, I need to just decouple this. And because this stage is not even going to be used at all, the landing legs are absolutely pointless. So with that in mind, when this stage burns out, I'm just going to decouple. There we go. A little bit of efficiency there. What's our thrust to weight ratio now? 2.7. We've gained a massive amount. So it's likely that I can get rid of my entire velocity on this stage alone, which is incredibly efficient. All horizontal velocity is gone, and now it's time for the vertical velocity. Sweet. All right, that's, that's way more efficient. Knowing that I wasn't going to be able to land on that stage anyway has really helped. Now, I still don't think I'll be able to make it back, but at the moment, you know, it, it is what it is. Yeah, 4,000 is not going to be enough, I don't think. All right, I need to control this. It's very difficult to see the ground, so I'm going to actually up my ambient light really quickly. Okay, one meter per second. Second. And there we go. Landed on rock. Oh, hi. <laughs> that has survived. I'm impressed. That survived. And here we are. Landed on rock. Now, some of the features that I wanted to show off aren't actually here. So I will put a screenshot of that on the screen because I really was hoping to be able to see some of those. For those of you wondering, they are the same crystals that are present in Lua's terraformers. So the lore kind of opens up a little bit here. So it's like, how did Lua's terraformers be built? How did they work? Well, the crystals are formed here on rock. Now the question is, who went there first and who put them on the terraformers? Big question, big brain to find out. So anyway, it's time to do a little bit of science. I'm surprised we managed to actually land on rock because it, it is the hardest planet to land on in Beyond Home. Uh, not in Beyond Home. It's the hardest planet to land on in this system. The hardest planet to land on in Beyond Home is potentially Fury or Janus, but Janus is actually uh, is actually quite forgiving. So I'd, I'd go with Fury as the hardest one to land on, which uh, I've not been to yet. So if you guys would like to see me go there, do let me know. But anyway, I'm going to try my very bloody best to get into orbit around rock and get home. But I don't think I will be able to make it. But we can try and try we will. All right, so this is the stage that is asparagus staged. So this is the one which is going to be extremely efficient. Boom. That's that stage gone. My thrust to weight ratio is still 2.45. Now I'm flying low on purpose because I want to be able to see if we can find some of those other structures that I was talking about because we're going to be flying low for a while. But the terrain I'm really happy with and how it's turned out and for large planets getting the terrain good is actually quite difficult to do. So I'm happy it's turned out how it does. And you know what? I, I always talk about the planets all the time when <laughs> when when flying across them. So it's it, it's cool though. And hopefully my insight from like, you know, the modders notes is actually useful or entertaining to listen to. Well, it doesn't seem like we're going to be seeing some of those features. How's our orbit doing? Almost got one. Boom, we have an orbit. Sweet. Well, we have 1,739 meters per second remaining and to escape out of rock, it could be done. We could get home. There is a potential to be able to go home. Well, that's nice. The transfer to road was only in eight days. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. You can go to rock and you can go back to road pretty much straight away. It's just a there and back trip. That's cool. So for a grand total of just over a thousand meters per second, I can get an encounter road. It looks like we might be able to actually get back after all. I'm glad I sent a probe because if I sent crew, this would be way too heavy. Oh, I've missed the maneuver node again. I'm a genius. Now, I have made a mistake and uh, not actually put parachutes on this. Whether we'll actually be able to land or not is, is a very good question. It just depends how much fuel I have. I need around 350 to land on road and my thrust to weight is more than enough. There's the encounter we're getting with road. Actually, I'll flip it around to the other side of the planet. There we go. <laughs> Gonna be landing in the day side. Actually, that that depends on how long the uh, the transfer time is. We're just going to try and get into orbit, and that's what that's what we really need to do. And we've arrived at the road, and there we go. Now to capture, it's going to actually cost us a fair amount of fuel, and I'm definitely not going through the atmosphere to do that. All right. And now it's time for the final burn. And I'll have to recover this using some sort of mission later on, but I'll recover all the data from it. It will be, be great. And we're just going to burn until our fuel runs out. And there we go. That's it. <laughs> That's it. We made it to Rockenbach on 11,400 meters per second. And we're still in orbit, but we can just recover the science. Could transmit it, but there's going to be a loss. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Kerbal Space Program Beyond Home. Uh, if you like that, please do leave a like and subscribe and consider sharing because it helps my channel grow. And I'll see you all in the next episode.